Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Ronson. Ronson, what's your last name? Bert. Bert and? Terry. Terry. I'm here with Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And we're here at the World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois. Come out to the show because it's a great show. Even if you couldn't make it this year, make it next year because it's just great. We're going to take a look at their car, Bill. Thanks. I'll grab the cameras. I usually do. So, Ronson, before we go too far, tell me uh, why this car? What, 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 what connects you to this car? Well, I've been in uh, someone that had Novels and built Novels all my life. It's the only car I've ever built. And uh, I thought uh, to see, take a 63 convertible and take it to this level, I had never seen anything done like that. And I thought it'd be a nice car to do that too and uh, take a chance at the Riddler. And uh, we did take a chance at the Riddler in 2012 and was uh, good enough to get a grade eight. Grade eight, excellent. Terry, you run around with this guy, you see all these other towns. How do you feel about these car shows? You know what? I didn't do them for a long time. In the last two years of being on the ISCA circuit, I've absolutely enjoyed every minute of it. We meet some of the nicest people at the car shows. Well, speaking of, speaking of car shows, let's go right over here. Ronson, I'm going to grab you for a moment. All right. What a car. What a paint job. Thank you. Holy cow. This is spectacular. Let's shut the hood just so people can see what it looks like with the hood down. Let's kind of take an overall look at the front of it. That is a custom car. How long does it take you to do something like this? This is just an amazing effort. We were five years uh, building this car. Uh, the car has got about 100, 110 modifications to it and over 10,000 hours in building this car. 10,000 hours. Oh my goodness. I'm going to step around this way just so we can get a shot of the side of the car. Come with me. Come on with me. No door handles on it, as you can see. Smooth. Amazing. I was just saying, there's no door handles on it. And you call it, you call it the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb. My wife called it and named it. She said it's an atomic bomb color, the orange, and it's the bomb, so that's where we come up with the name. And I'm just letting people focus in on whatever they'd like to focus in on as we look at this. Now, our thing with the car when we was building is to have it as smooth as possible, so we deleted everything we could possibly delete from the sides, and we deleted whatever gaps we could delete. Uh, the car has belly pans that roll in there from the rocker. Yeah, come on with me while we look at it. Uh, you can see the exhaust is coming out the co rear quarters of the car. That's really cool. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, my builder, uh, who is uh, Superior Auto Works out of uh, Fred Rickle, Delaware. Focus on the wheels, too. Those are some deep dish wheels. The wheels are 18 by 11s. <laughs> What is that, like a Viper, or? <laughs> oh my goodness. Not on your usual 63 Nova. No, not at all. And this is an SS version. This is the SS version, yes. And a convertible. Look at the... Uh, Looking at the back end here, you can see how we uh, flush mounted the tail lights and painted them a car color. Uh, put a little dovetail on the back and had it to run right into the quarters. You know what, I'm going to show that from the side rather than the back, that dovetail. Let's just kind of, so people can kind of get a hang up. There you go, you get a little better look right there at that dovetail. And uh, it, it is a great color. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's just show-stopping. And matter of fact, when you come to the world of wheels, it's one of the first cars you're going to see. So let's... Uh, Let's open up the door. Well, oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. That is absolutely spectacular. Look at the door handles. I like that. There's the Chevrolet badging. Venting in the dash. And look at these custom, custom gauges. And the 
wheel. Obviously all leather custom interior. Yes, done by Paul Atkins out of uh, Alabama. Is that a speaker in the back? In the back that seat? That is a speaker center? in the back. Speakers on the side, in the back seat. Speakers door panels. On the side. And the atomic bomb listed up there. We'll see that through the windshield in a second. And look at the down the center. All the way down the center console. I like that that little roll back there where they've got some some place to put things. And the car's a little touch we put in our door sill. Oh that's nice. That's nice. Center of the console lifts up and that hides all the key and the power windows and air rides. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. That is really neat. All right, let's uh, pop the hood. Okay. <laughs> Opens just like every other Nova, but it doesn't look like that under here. No, a little difference. It's uh, running a ZZ 454 big block. It's got a custom air breather, painted car color made to go on it. No wires. Everything's hidden, wires is hidden, all the lines are hidden. Everything's smooth. Who came up with this? Uh, that was it looks one like, of my, looks, my creations. It looks everybody, like something from Star Wars. You know, with the, the, my anteater. <laughs> yeah, your anteater. There you go. Wow. Wow. Custom. Good. Clean. Dual fans. Just amazing. Let me have you stand right next to it. Terry, jump in here. Let's make it look a little better here. Make it look better? <laughs> that side or this side? Jump over. Uh, I'm glad you guys came to the show. Welcome to Chicago. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you for having Thank us. You.